Hey, boys and girls, how are you doing? I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. Um, I know it was kind of smoky in the air, huh? Yeah, it was a little bit crazy. But I have a book to share with you guys. This is a really neat book. I love, love, love it. It's so cute. Um, but it has to do with friends. Do you guys have friends? I have friends. Let's see. Well, let's look at her book. This is the front cover. This is the back cover. Remember, we talked about it. And do you guys remember what we call this? You're right, the spine. This is the spine of the book that holds the whole book together. And of course, this is our title of the book. Now let's see what the title of our book says. It says, a splendid friend indeed. <gasps> a splendid friend indeed. That must mean that that friend's super special. Let's see. And remember we talked about an author and the author, oh, writes the book. You're right, writes the book. Well, the author of this book, her name is Suzanne Bloom. And um, this is a pretty neat book because remember I told you, that sometimes there's an author and then there's an illustrator. The illustrator is the one that draws the, the pictures and the author is the one that writes all the words to the book. Well, guess what? Suzanne Bloom is both. She is the author of the book, she wrote the book, but she's so awesome that she's even the illustrator. She drew all the pictures. That is awesome. She is very artistic and very talented, isn't she? Well, let's check out what a splendid friend indeed is all about. Ready? Let's find out. But before, don't you find this weird? What is he? You're right, he's a polar bear. What is he? Is that a duck, a chicken? A goose? I don't know. Let's find out. Ready? Okay. A splendid friend in B. Ooh, it looks like a, like it could be a goose. I think it might be a goose. Let's see. All right. Look at these beautiful pictures. She is very artistic. Uh-oh. What's going on here? Where is that goose at? Is he standing on a carpet? <gasps> oh, there's a nose. There's an eye. Oh, it's the polar bear reading a book. Why is the goose standing on his head? See that? <sighs> Sorry. Let's see what it, what happens. What are you doing? Are you reading? He can see that he's reading. Is that nice to stand on your friend's head? I don't think so. Let's see what happens next. I like to read. Oh. Look at now he's not standing on his head but he's standing in front of his book. Can our friend the polar bear see the words? I don't think so. Oh my goodness. He's not being a very good friend, is he? Uh-oh. The goose said, do you wanna hear me read? Can you tell me if that polar bear looks happy? His eyes and his face don't look like this. He looks like this. Do you think he might be mad? I think so. Hmm. He's being a little bit of a pest. <laughs> Let's see what happens next. Oh, what is our polar bear the front our polar bear doing? I see a pencil in his hand. I see a, like a notepad. Hmm, 
I wonder if he's practicing his name. He might be. Now, what are you doing? Are you writing? Said the goose. Ay, ay, ay. That goose, I tell you. I like to write, said the goose. Hmm. How is our friend the polar bear feeling? I don't know. He doesn't look like a happy camper to me, does he? Does he look like he's happy to you? Then the goose says, do you want to see me write? Look at that. Hmm. Does he, do you think he wants to see him write? Are you doing now? Are you thinking? Hmm. He sure looks like he's thinking. I wonder what he's thinking about. He's like this. Hmm. He's probably thinking how how the he could get rid of the goose because the goose is just being a pest. Oh my goodness, you're not even going to believe this. You want to hear what the goose has to say? Uh-oh. Thinky makes me hungry. Are you hungry? I can go make a snack. Let's look at Polar Bear's face. Hmm. How do you think the Polar Bear feels? Do you think he's happy? Do you think he's sad? Do you think he's angry? Or maybe he's frustrated. Frustrated? What's frustrated? Hmm, let's find out. I'm back, I made a snack. Oh, polar bear looks like he's writing again. Oh my goodness, he looks like he brought a whole picnic with him. Hmm. You think that's going to make the polar bear happy? What do you guys think? Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? Let's see. Uh-oh. <gasps> Look at how the polar bear feels. I think he is frustrated. He's like, oh, just leave me alone. Oh. He put his notebook on his head. And, oh. He's probably frustrated. He wants him to leave him alone. But let's see what the goose tells the polar bear. Ready? He said, I wrote a note. I'll read it to you. And he's like, oh, leave me alone. <laughs> Uh oh, let's see. Do you want to know what his note had to say? Let's see. I like you. Indeed, I do. You are my splendid friend. Oh, those are some really nice, kind words, aren't they? And those kind words were for bear, for the polar bear. How do you think the polar bear feels now? that he heard those kind words. Let's see. Do you think he's still gonna be mad? Do you think he's still gonna be frustrated? Do you think he's still gonna have his notebook on his head? Let's find out, ready? Thank you. I like you too. Indeed, I do. Oh, look, he even got a tear on his eye. He made him feel so special and so loved that even though the goose was not being um, such a good friend, he was kind of, you know, bothering him the whole time. He kept, when he was trying to read, he got in front of his book. When he was trying to write, he told him he likes to write. 
He kept interrupting him. He still loves his friend, no matter what, because he's a splendid friend indeed. Oh, this is so cute. Are you ready? You're gonna love it. You are my splendid friend, my splendid friend indeed. Look at, he's giving him a big old hug. He's squishing him. Oh my goodness. Do these two friends love each other very much? They sure do. Even though they didn't see eye to eye with everything, and even though our friend the bear got frustrated with our goose, his friend the goose, he still loves him. And that is his splendid friend, my splendid friend indeed. Oh, and they had a picnic. Look at that. And it looks like they're eating cookies. I think they ate dessert before they ate their food. So sometimes we may have a friend or maybe your brother or your sister and they may be getting and driving you crazy. And you're like, oh my gosh, I wish they would just go away. But remember, no matter what, we still love them. We don't always agree. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. Sometimes we have friends and family that just don't stop bothering us, but we still love them. Just like our polar bear, the friend, our polar, our friend, our, the polar bear, and our friend, the goose. They were splendid friends indeed, all to the very end. I hope you enjoyed the book as much as I did. Have a good night.